Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyOT. In this video we will show you how to install Windows 10 on an M1 Mac. If you have an app or a game that's Windows only and you don't want to buy a Windows machine then this video might help. The first step is to download and install Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac. You can do this by opening up Safari and then type in Parallels.com. When you get to that page, just click on Download Free Trial. And on the next screen, just click on Download Now. This will save the Parallels desktop software to your Mac. If you get the Allow prompt, just click on Allow. Go down to your Download menu and click on the Parallels Desktop 16 software to install it. When you see the Parallels Desktop for Mac box pop up, just click on it to start the install and then click on Open and then click OK. Parallels will then go and install. If you get a password prompt, enter your administrator password. Okay, once you see the Parallels Desktop permissions, you can close the installer and then click Next. Click OK to allow Parallels access to your folders. This allows you to share documents between Mac OS and Windows. Click Finish and then you should see the Install on a Mac with Apple M1 chip window. OK, next you will need to click on how to download Windows 10 for ARM Insider Preview link. Scroll down and click the Windows Insider Preview link. Because the M1 Macs are quite new, to download Windows 10 for M1 Macs, you need to register for Windows Insider. I will put all the links from this video in the description below. Click on Learn More and then click on Register. You can register with any account and it's free to do so. Click Sign In Now and once you have signed in it will ask you to agree to the terms and conditions. Put a tick in the checkbox and then click on Register. If you go back to the Parallels tab and click on the Windows Insider link again, it should now take you directly to the Downloads page. Cool. If you've done it right, go ahead and click the Windows 10 Client ARM64 button and then click Allow to start downloading Windows 10. Awesome. You can check the download by clicking on the Downloads button in the top right hand part of Safari and the download might take some time because it's quite large, about 10 gigabytes. While that's downloading, just minimize your windows and go back to the Parallels Installation Assistant and then click Continue. Next, click on Install Windows or another OS and then click Continue. If the Windows 10 VHDX file doesn't detect automatically, you can just grab it and drag it into the Install Assistant window. Next up, click Continue, and then Parallels will do some pre-configuration for you. So if you want Windows 10 to play games, then click on Games Only. On the next screen, put a tick in the Customize Settings Before Installation, and then click Create. Great, you are now on the Windows 10 configuration screen. You can customize all your settings in here. When finished, just close that screen and click continue. If you have done everything correctly, you should see the Windows 10 being installed. Awesome. Windows is installed now, so just click to continue. And you will need to set up a Parallels account to get the 14 day trial. And then after that, you can purchase Parallels if you find it useful. Congratulations, Windows 10 is installed now. Go to the Start menu and Settings and click on Windows Updates. You just wanna go ahead and make sure Windows is fully updated. While that's updating, go down to the Windows Insider program and click on the G 
go to Diagnostics link and then turn on Optimal Diagnostics data button. This will allow you to get the latest updates from Microsoft for this build. Make sure you also sign in with your Insider Program address. Once the updates are done, you will be prompted to do a restart. Click Restart Now. If you get a prompt for Parallels Desktop Access, just go into the System Preferences and give it the access it requires. Parallels might also need to update. Just go ahead and click restart. Awesome, everything is ready to go now. Just go ahead and install any apps that you might need. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to erase and reset your M1 Mac. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon.